as an oncology pharmacist working in an ambulatory clinic, uh, I am placed with an interdisciplinary team and I see adult patients with colon cancer and pancreatic cancer and hepatic cancer. Um, we are the experts in all the anti-cancer treatments which are your traditional cytotoxic chemotherapy, targeted therapies, immunotherapies. There are so many new drugs being approved right now. We really have to stay on top of approvals and also their side effects and how they're dosed. We have a molecular tumor board that meets once monthly that looks at patients who have had molecular tumor profiling and we can really customize a treatment plan based on a patient's pharmacogenomic test results. Safety first is always my first thought and I want to make sure that whatever regimen that's prescribed for a patient is safe. Also making sure that what's prescribed um, is FDA approved for the disease. Uh, making sure that patients can afford their chemotherapy treatments. We are experts in supportive care medications. Uh, there's nothing more gratifying as a pharmacist to have a patient who's really struggling with nausea, has tried a few different medication regimens, suggesting a change and then having them tell you when you call them later that they feel better. So part of my role as a clinical assistant professor at the uh, School of Pharmacy is I am one of the directors of the Hematology and Oncology Integrated Sequence course. And I'm very excited about this course because what we're doing is covering a lot of key areas of cancer, but also partnering those cancers with the supportive care that goes along with. Um, we're also dedicating a, a good portion of time on the medicinal chemistry and pharmacology of anti-cancer agents. And it's such a fascinating area of drug development. So pairing that um, drug structure and function with the actual clinical disease state and then application of care and supportive care, I think really is going to set the MCW program apart. One of the most gratifying experiences I had was a patient told me, you know, when I, before I came to my appointment, I was so scared to take my medicine. And now that I've talked to you, I'm not scared anymore. And so that's what a good medication education can do.